Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our Nagios XI Core Config Manager series. We are talking today about escalation. So what happens when an alert can't be handled by the level one person assigned to it? Nagios XI gives you the ability to escalate that as alerts are ignored or not handled up to as many levels as you need. We call it the escalation wizard and that's what we're going to take a look at. Okay, so here we are in the Core Config Manager. We are going to go to the sidebar and we're going to roll down to the Tools section and then we are going to click on the Escalation Wizard link. Stage one, very simple. Are we going to escalate a host or a service? And when we get here, we can select one host. We also can select multiple hosts if we would like. Although, if you were going to do multiple hosts, you may as well just define a host group if it's not already and use that. As a note, if you want to deselect anything here, you would hit control and click that and that deselects those. So we're going to go with this one host here. This is a switch that we run. So I'm going to call this config name .5.41 and it's going to supply underscore LV1 to that name. And then we're going to define the contact. Now, if we said that the user contact, the contact user is the person that would get the, the initial notification, right? We haven't escalated yet. There's an issue. It's in a warning or a critical state. The alert, the notification is going to go to user. So the contact for level one would be the next level up. So we would go to user one on that. You could also use a contact group if you liked and you have your choice of escalation periods here. Now, if you would like to define a new contact for this, you can do that here. Additionally, you can do that with contact groups. You can also define a new time period if none of those supplied are appropriate for your setting. Now, over here, we're gonna see first, last, and notification interval. These question marks open up additional help. What the five here is saying is that after five notifications to user, we're gonna start sending them to user one. The last notification, if we have 10 in here, what that means is after 10, it's gonna stop. If we put a zero in, it will keep going until the problem is resolved. So it would be appropriate to put zero here if you're only gonna escalate one level and continue to notify at that level. However, if we were going to go down here to save and add another level, then we would want to have that last notification set at 10. And then notification interval set at 5, very standard for Nagios. You can change it to your other notification level if you would like. So we save and add another level. You'll see up here that we have a note that level 1 saved successfully. It has already named level 2 and in here we're going to go to super user who is the next level up from user one. Again, you could choose or not choose a contact group, adjust your time period. And if this is your top level notification, then you may put a zero in here so that it will continue to go. So let's say that we're good, right? That's what we needed to do. We're going to save this and we're ready to monitor with this. It will apply the configs. You'll get the green here that shows that everything has gone well and now you're set up. You can take a look at it up here. In alerting, we can click on host escalations. That's going to show us our level one and level two that we have previously defined. We can go in and we can edit. You could change the notifications here. Um, you could change this host if you wished. Um, you could change the contact on level one, you get rid of that, and you could go right to Na Nagios Admin, and you can save that. Um, interestingly, if you were to add a new one, you can do it right here, and say we're going to go 15 and 0 with a notification interval of 5, we're going to keep working this host and we are going to have this be our new user there that we're going to save and that means that at the 15th this is going to be our third level and I'm actually going to do underscore LV3. The secret is that um, the LV3 is really for us and Nagios 
doesn't need that LV3, but it helps us sort out what is being done. So that's a handy way to keep track of stuff and then an escalation period. We're gonna save this one. And what we also would wanna do if we're gonna add a level is we'd wanna add this and where this is zero, we're gonna to wanna to change that back to 15 so that, um, so that it doesn't continue to send notifications to level two. So we save those. And then once we do changes here in host escalations, we are gonna to need to apply these configs so that Core will write the new config files and restart Core and monitor with that. With all that in mind, you know, now we got one, two, and three service escalations. And when we could have chosen in step one of the wizard, either host or service, they're exactly the same. Everything functions the same. If you know how to do a host, you know how to do a service. That's what it takes to run escalations in Nagios XI. Stay tuned. We got more videos coming your way.